Hey everybody, I'm just setting up. I'll be right there with you. Hey everybody, how you doing? Helps if I turn the volume on. Greetings from my office, Happy New Year. Um, just wanna say hello and thanks everybody in advance for watching this stream. Um, this is a super fun demo for me because I get to play this ridiculously amazing super horn. Um, check out that, check out that copper bell. Uh, this is a horn that actually our shop assistant uh, manager Kyle is selling uh, you know he's selling unfortunately because he has to buy a new car and we all know what the prices are on new cars right now so we are uh, selling this horn for him and it is just beautiful as you can see now why is this horn super because it has basically any sound that you want it comes with a second bell oh wait that's copper too and then it comes with a third bell like this. It is an amazing trumpet. Each one of these bells is very different and I'll play all three for you hopefully. Now this isn't the normal mouthpiece that I play and it's also gold so and I'm allergic to silver and gold so you'll see my face like get um, you can already see that it's a little red. It will get a lot redder. Um, this has got an integrated mouthpiece system as well as you can see it. So the mouthpiece is integrated in zero gaps um, once in the horn. And the buttons. So let's play a little bit. Of course, if you have um, some song requests, please do not hesitate to reach out and put them in here. Although this is fairly informative for this one horn. So let me play a little bit. I'm going to switch mics. If you're not familiar with the live noodle setup, um, you can ask for a song request. This mouthpiece, uh, they, this horn also comes with three uh, threaded ACB mouthpieces. Um, you can see that's the thread system that we use on the horn. I'm not sure this will, there you go, we'll zoom in there. Um, and each one has the um, rim setting of the great Clifford Brown's mouthpiece, which we um, Kyle plays. Uh, 
it's very different than what mouthpiece I normally play, but since this is integrated, you can see it screws like this. And it's not a quick thread change because we really wanted it to be firmly, you know, in the instrument. So it has a lot of, you know, fine threads there versus, I know there's uh, a few other makers that make a quick thread system. Um, we just felt at Adams that this tended to solidify the sound a little bit more versus the quick threads. So when I fall in love, sure. So right now the bell that's on this, I don't know if you can read that, is the Sterling Silver Bell. And this, um, I'm going to play it with the big bell. Now, this bell is like five and a half inches. But if I put it next to this bell, can you see the difference? This is a standard A1 trumpet bell, A1, B2. Um, and then this is a five and a half inch uh, sterling silver bell with an A4 flare. So the A4 flare is quite large and robust. Oh no, sorry. This is not an A4 flare. I apologize. This is um, the old A2 bell flare, which in a Bach world, the closest thing would be a 72. Um, this is pure sterling silver, this bell. You just take it off with the two threads um, here. It's got screw right here and it's got a screw right there um, and then you slide the bell up. you got to be careful i'm going to push the tuning slide in um, it's really versatile so you could change the bells so there you go the bell is off i'm going to show you this is a five i think it's almost six inch diameter trumpet bell um, and huge flare and red brass so this is um, really thick and dark this is like an instant flugelhorn, so check this out. I'm going to put this on this horn with this setup. Let me just uh, unscrew here and play for you. Thanks so much for watching. We really appreciate you. Um, and, of course, Happy New Year to everybody. If I haven't, I haven't done one of these live noodles in a while, I've been super busy, but um, I just have to play this horn. It's so amazing. Um, there's also a video on the listing. Uh, Josh will put the listing up. I think uh, in this, I'm not sure I can put the listing up. Let me see if I can uh, on this chat. I can't right now. I, I, I might in just a second, but let me play When I Fall in Love because we're, we are doing requests here. So let me switch the mic. Again, not my normal mouthpiece. too low there um but that's the the um oh, i'm pointing towards the microphone but i should point towards the camera that's the bell that is the red brass a4 flare and it's humongous just want to see the difference here you go
Can you see the difference? And what I'll do is I'll play When I Fall in Love on the A1 bell. So you really have such versatility in this setup. Again, this is not my mouthpiece. Uh, it's very different than my normal mouthpiece that I play. I play around a Mount Vernon 3C, and the Clifford Brown mouthpiece is very different. And it's also gold, so you'll see my chops get red because of the irritation, because I'm allergic to silver and gold. Um, let's put on this bell. This is, an, this is the stock A1 V2 bell, uh, which is a great trumpet bell a new bell design from Adams. So here's when I fall in love with this setup. I know it's not instantaneous uh, because you have to change, but here you go. So hopefully you can hear a, a difference between the large bell, which I'll grab again, this bell, which is a five, like a little under six inches, and then this is a stock five inch bell. Again, you can see, see the difference. I'll put up a picture, hold on, of the three different bells. Um, so hold on. That's a picture of the three different bells that you can see. So the bell that's on the horn, uh, on the horn right there is the, uh, I do believe that's the Sterling bell that I started with. And then the, the middle bell is that large flared uh, A4 bell. And the top one is the bell that's currently on here, which is the um, A1 bell. So, so let me turn that off. Again, you can see the copper plating on the inside. So these are copper plated and then antique finished, which is just beautiful. Um, and then, of course, you've got the beautiful inlaid buttons from Adams. Hey, Johnny K, how are you, man? And then the integrated mouthpiece. Again, this is not my mouthpiece. Uh, this is Kyle's mouthpiece. And in fact, it comes with two additional uh, mouthpieces. And we do make these mouthpieces for this horn. So if you wanted any mouthpiece, you can do it. Um, we just don't normally stock A8 mouthpieces. This is the A8 integrated mouthpiece setup. So you could change your mouthpiece. It's very secure, uh, unlike me. Uh, let me play. I'll show you the security. Again, this is not my mouthpiece, so don't judge me on the mouthpiece, but... So it has really good um, crispness because this is channeled in and zero gapped. So it's very, very present. Um, it is just such a, and the copper plating on the slides. It does come with a second slide as well. I think the second slide is a different material uh, as well. This is a braceless slide while this slide has a, a center brace. So, so it's a little looser with this one. So, yes, my buddy Amik uh, helped design the A4 and A4LT trumpets. Um, I know Amik very well. He's a good friend. So, great trumpet player. Um, so, I'm going to switch to the Sterling bell because you know how much I love Sterling. My Copernicus is actually Sterling. So, let me just uh, change this again. This is Live Noodles, so you can um, ask for a song request. So, there you go. Taking that bell off. And then I'll put the Sterling Silver bell on. It's a little heavier, this sterling silver bell. I don't know. This is a 45 gauge. That's the metric gauge of what they spin the bell. Um, it's a, that's a kind of a lighter gauge on the trumpet side of things. But because it's sterling, it actually plays a little bit heavier than that. Um, actually, significantly heavier. So, so there you go. The bell is on. Song requests. Let's see. Someone have a song request. Please share my way. Uh, I'm going to just turn this one off yeah adams is a candy store if you've ever been to the factory it's it's absolutely amazing um 
So I'm going to play a song request. I like this song a lot. Okay. I, I, you know, why does everybody only ask for I Remember Clifford? I'll play it, but I, it's one of my least favorite songs because it's the only song that trumpet players seem to know. So uh, here you go. This is the medium bell, uh, Jurgen. Um, this is a, so this is a five and a half inch bell. Um, I did play the large bell earlier, but I'll switch back to it and play. Um, uh, I'll play Ram Midnight on it uh, again. I just want to say thanks for everybody uh, who's tuned into this video. This is just a work of art from Adams. Again, hold on while I switch. I'm going to show you that. That's the horn. Our assistant Patrick is a Jedi in the photo studio, and he took a picture of that horn. You don't need to see me take this bell off. So, totem pole, now you're talking. So, uh, I'm going to put the big bell on, and I'll play Round Midnight again. Thank you again for watching. Um, uh, I don't know what Great Grace, Holly Grace is. Sorry. Um, sorry, I don't know every song in the world. Learning, though. We're all learning. We're all steps of the process. Um, so now I'm switching to the large bell. Hey, my brother. This, who built this trumpet? He's on the chat right now. My my brother from Adams, who I miss. So, I'll blow your kiss from. Uh, um, I don't. I. Uh, the the price is in the listing. The listing was already posted. Um, you know. Sometimes you, we always say this, if you have to ask for the price, then you probably can't afford it. No, I'm just kidding. Um, it's uh, three bells, one of them, which is pure silver. So it's not going to be inexpensive. Uh, but it's actually in the scope of things compared to other manufacturers and their inflated pricing. Um, it's actually really fair. Uh, so let me, um, there you go. The listing was just posted again. Click it, check it out. Um, there's plenty of pictures and full information from Patrick, who did the listing. So uh, let's play uh, Around Midnight. Again, thanks for watching. Put a song request. Hopefully I can play it for you.
So you're again, you've asked the question twice now, can't answer while I'm playing, but uh, would you recommend it for a lead player? Yeah, with the, with the small bell, it will light up quite nicely. Again, my lips get red because I am allergic to gold plating, gold plated, and of course, this is very far different than um, what I normally play for a mouthpiece, but since they're threaded and integrated, uh, you know, so. Yeah, the MV3CS, I play one a lot as well. Isn't it a great, great mouthpiece? That's more what I play. I play an MV3C almost all the time. So this is this mouthpiece is, I've got to be careful when I take the bell off. Okay, that's that large bell. Whoa, it's super large when you throw it in the camera. Um, now I'll play, uh, I'll play a little bit of Round Midnight on the standard A1 bell, which is a five inch bell, yellow brass flare, still in the copper plating. Uh, per the request uh, of the customer. So let me just put that on. This will light up. This is so great because you have such versatility in this setup and it doesn't take long to change. The only thing that takes a little bit of time to change is the mouthpiece. So if you switch mouthpieces often, probably the A8 mouthpiece system is not for you. But if you play one mouthpiece, you could play it and then you only have to take it out to clean out the lead pipe, which is great. Um, which I think Kyle pretty much plays one mouthpiece, even though he has a couple variations for this horn. So here's Round Midnight on the um, small bell. So if you do want to push it, you can hear how this horn will push, especially with this, this bell. Also, I will say that the Sterling bell, which is this one, will also push because Sterling gets quite vibrant when you extend the volume spectrum on Sterling Silver. Um, Patrick, how are you, my friend? Lo-fi today, my buddy, but we're still, we're, we're keeping on, keeping on. Um, uh, Thanks again for your help with my interface at, at my home studio. Uh, so again, this horn, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn this one on, just so you don't have to see me take this bell off. You could stare at that beautiful picture. That horn, I don't know which bell that is. Um, I wish I knew which one of the three bells. I'm assuming that's the uh, Sterling bell, because that's the, the bell that um, Kyle played most of the time on this horn, but, just really great. I'm putting the Sterling Bell on. And again, I saw a few song requests. So here's Autumn Leaves. Um, I will play that for y'all. Autumn Leaves in Winter. So Winter Leaves. No Leaves in Winter. Um, I'm back. Again, you tuned into Live uh, Noodles. Um, and if you're not familiar with Live Noodles, you can ask for a song request. And hopefully I will play them. Uh, I just really wanted to show off this great trumpet that we're selling for our shop manager, Kyle, um, who needs to buy a car. So, you know, it reminds me, I had a Monet once and I sold it for a car, but I really missed the car. Um, but there you go, those are beautiful buttons, autumn leaves. So here we go, let me switch the microphone and we'll play.
such a fun horn and the a8 system this system with the integrated setup with the mouthpiece twisting in so you can see i'm unscrewing this mouthpiece it really makes a humongous difference in terms of the targets i i have to still tell people i'm allergic to silver and gold so you see me get red um and i'm talking about exactly that alex how are you man um the the how does this this is the same setup it's just a little lighter weight and not full sleeved. So you have a little bit more uh, uh, brilliance in the horn because you're not doing a twin tube setup like on the full A8. Uh, I actually kind of like this setup better than the full thick A8 setup. But um, and it can be offered on any trumpet that Adams makes. Uh, you know, you could always reach out and talk to us about custom builds for Adams as you have in the past so but yeah you could see that um again this isn't the mouthpiece i play so i'm getting red because it's gold too because i play acrylic almost all the time um yeah uh someone asked for nature boy i'm going to play it on the big bell again so before i i gotta switch this because i don't you don't need to see me switch this but there you go that's the three bells that that are currently offered on this trumpet. And because it's a tunable bell, you can always order other bells and bell flares for this horn. Um, so if you say, oh, I want, you know, like an A5, like a real commercial bell, you could easily grab that. So I'm gonna put on the large bell, which is around six inches, red brass with the A4 flare. So the largest flare that Adams makes on their trumpets and play Nature Boy, which is one of my favorite songs. So I'm glad someone requested that probably. You have long since left this chat, and I'm sorry. So put your song requests in the comments. This is Live Noodles. This is what I do. I'm very happy to, well, you see me, unfortunately, but I, I'm so happy that you're spending a few moments with, with me here. And definitely check out the listing. Uh, Josh has put the listing in this chat a few times already. And you know what I will do? Um, hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you another picture while I find the listing, and I will share it with you as well. I hope everybody's doing well and staying warm. It's very cold here today in Kansas City, but I was just in Maine adjudicate, uh, conducting the Allstate uh, Jazz Ensemble in Maine. What a treat and honor it was. I played there. I played in that ensemble 30 years before. Um, thank you uh, for posting that again, Josh. Um, it's not raining, so I can't play Here's That Rainy Day. I'm posting the, the link for everybody to see on all three channels. Um, because I know Josh is just monitoring the, I know a lot of Louis Armstrong. Well, you know, Louis Armstrong didn't write many tunes actually. So, but I know a bunch from Louis' repertoire, but I'm gonna play um, Here's That Rainy Day, uh, back to me and switching the microphone. Oh no, Nature Boy, because uh, it's not raining. I can't. Anyway. <laughs>
on the sunny side of the street. I will play it on the smaller bell. So, Josh Mead, how are you, my friend? It is great to see you, uh, a member of our Adams Brass family. Thank you so much for uh, your support and that great flugelhorn that you have. Um, I'm going to put it on the small bell. That's what this versatility allows you to do. Um, this, uh, I really, for me, of the three bells, I don't know if someone's already commented on this, I really like that sterling bell, but it's because I love sterling silver. And and it's kind of 72-ish, but it's got, a, it's got a little bit more presence than the 72. So, uh, so here's on the sunny side of the street. Grab your coat, grab your hat. Here's a little pops for you. Again, you tuned in live noodles on the super trumpet. I'm playing something drastically different than my mouthpiece, but it's a threaded mouthpiece. This is a super horn. This, uh, what you just heard was the small bell yellow brass bell trumpet. So you have three trumpets in one. Um, you also have the versatility of, you know, because of you have a tuning bell, you can tune it here or you could tune it back here. So you, you could do a full, you know, like if I do this and then pull the bell out, some people prefer it tuning back in the bell. Let me switch. Uh, let me play something beboppy. Oh, I'll play Clifford Brown, right? <laughs> B-O-Y means, so, you know, but uh, yeah, so that is tuned now back here. You can see where I've tuned it now back here versus tuning there. I prefer a little bit of both because then you have some on the fly adjustment because it's harder to tune on the bell boat like in an instantaneous fashion. So 
So I'm going to tap it out a bit on both. Again, you tuned into live noodles. Thanks so much for watching. And this beautiful trumpet can be yours right there at this link. Um, we have lots of amazing trumpets coming in and out. We've actually had a, a huge, we're very, very fortunate. We've had a huge rush of uh, selling lots of horns lately. Um, I've been clearing out a lot of my collection. Um, so you want to probably check that out as well. I'm paring down uh, to a few horns. Pete Carroll, my buddy, Pete Carroll. Cheers. Here's some sparkling grapefruit. See, I'm not grapefruit sparkling water. It is wild to play this. Uh, oh, you got the horn. Thank you so much, Joe. Um, Joseph, thank you. Um, this is a CB mouthpiece. And then again, there's another one. Um, and then I think this is a little bit, let me put, all right, let me show you how long it takes. You're going to go anywhere. So I could just greet people and say, hello, hope everybody's doing well. You know, you're not going to be changed to this in an eight bar rest folks. I, trust me. I tried. Um, I recorded uh, my Trumpet 102 album uh, on an A8, a silver A8. Uh, I love that trumpet. High notes, Todd Stoll, you'll get here. I'll give you some high notes, hold on. So look how long this takes though. So you can't you can't just switch it out. Um, and the reason for the, the tight threading is so it really locks in and zero gaps and is much more centered. So, so the band was crushing, brother. Oh man, it was so great, and it was—they uh, treated me so so wonderfully. Uh, I can't wait to see him again in a few weeks in Columbia, Missouri. Um, uh, Todd works at Jazz and Lincoln Center. Todd is the man, one of the best dudes I know. We played it in a band together many years ago. Um, he still has great hair, but I don't have any hair now. But I back then I used to have hair. So, uh, but boy, you know, one of the things that I love about Lincoln Center is that there's four trumpets with. Four trumpet players, all obviously world-class trumpet players, uh, you know, like the top of the food chain, and all with four distinctly different sounds and different concepts, yet when they play together, they have one sound. It was like really mind-boggling. So beautiful. Um, oh, somebody wanted some high notes. Oh, you did, Todd. Yeah, I play a Malverna 3C. This mouthpiece is not a Malverna 3C. So it's like, whew. Pierre, man, great to have you in, in uh, lessons yesterday. I really enjoyed it. I'm glad we got back together. Let me switch this to a mouthpiece that I can play. But it comes with three mouthpieces, this horn. This, uh, what I, I know, this is such a super horn. Um, so young and so full of hair. Yeah, I mean, people could say so. I'm so full of something else, but we won't. Um, we will go there again. If you haven't tuned into uh, live noodles before, you could ask for a song request. I may or may not play it. Um, hopefully, I will. Um, so now I'm putting the other mouthpiece. This is the CB mouthpiece, which is a copy of Clifford Brown's old Bach uh, 17C1 or C2 mouthpiece. I can't remember right off the hand. Um, which was a copy of a Rudy Muck mouthpiece. Just to give you a heads up, a little insider information there, but. Uh, if you have a song request, please post it. Um, I played a fair amount. This horn has three bells, so I'm going to go back to the, the middle bell, which is the Sterling Silver Bell, which I absolutely adore. What I was just playing on this one was the just the A1 standard bell. Let me show you the three bells while I switch. Those are the three bells that come with this trumpet. Um, it also comes with a second tuning slide. Maybe I'll put that in as well. Uh, check it out. Um, and yeah, so live noodles, you can ask for a song request or just say, hey, let me know where you're let me know where you're shouting out from. I haven't done one of these in a while, so it's just it's just so fun to to um, do this for you. And uh, I'm very thankful my staff keeps the shop running while I'm doing this. Uh, I'm still taking this bell out, by the way. I'm being very genteel. I don't want to uh, mess with it. I'm going to go to the middle bell, which is the sterling silver. Oh, let me see if I can. Uh, that is the bell right there, but I'm going to put it on it. Um, and here we go. 
uh, song requests, please. Song requests, I'm back. So I can't get started. So Bunny, I used to know someone named Bunny. So he was a very nice person. I know who you're talking about though. Uh, so this is, this bell, just to give you a heads up, this is one of the, I'm gonna switch this tuning slide as well. So um, this horn comes with two tuning slides, a braced slide, and then a non-braced slide in a different alloy, still copper plated. Um, Somebody say something about So, <laughs> yeah. Armando, I hope to see you at TMEA. We're going to be at TMEA, both uh, representing our shop and also uh, helping with Adam's booth. So we'll have a contingent, an ACB contingent, um, and uh, it's going to be so great. We probably won't bring this trumpet because it's so fragile, and we don't want people to destroy this trumpet at the show. But, ah, uh, I can't get started. Again, this is not the mouthpiece I play because it's a threaded system. So pardon my red chops because this is gold plated and I am allergic to gold. And can't get that b-flat to start b-flat's always an arch nemesis of mine but two or three for me sometimes works so let's get to some comments here all right um let's see i've missed a few comments thank you so much for everybody who's tuning um uh jesus uh josh just answered your question you know give us a call here's our number by the way if you ever want to call us i'm going to give you the number right now we love talking to you on the phone um, just give us a call. We have so many good horns at a, a at a ton of different prices uh, that will that will suit you. Um, so there you go. That was the middle belt, which is the sterling silver belt. I don't know if you can see that right there. Let me move my comments here. But this is a Adam sterling silver, which is copper plated, and then what they call their antique finish, which is just gorgeous. Again, you're tuned into uh, live noodles. Thanks so much for. 
for watching and thank you so much for what you do for ACB. We appreciate you so much. Um, let me put in the big bell and play. Um, I saw something with uh, one of my favorite songs, which is I Hear a Rhapsody, which I haven't played in a long time. So um, that is the, 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 I call this bell is the beast. It looks ridiculous. And I'll show you, it doesn't look ridiculous. Well, it sort of does actually, to, to be honest. When you put it next to a normal bell, it, it's like insane. So this is by itself, it doesn't look that strange. You know, it's, it looks big, right? You're like, oh, that looks big. When you see the end of the flare and it's like, boom, it's ginormous, right? Uh, then, then you combine it next to this bell. So this is the Adams A1 bell, the B2, A, A1, B2. Check out the flare and check out the di diameter. And now, zoinks, look at that. Can you see the difference? So that, this bell is just monstrous. So again, thanks for watching. Um, we really appreciate you doing this. Uh, to tune, take some time out of your schedule. This was sort of impromptu. I was talking to Kyle. I was like, hey, Kyle. And I think Kyle's going to take the horn home this weekend and do a really nice professional recording on it. Um, but this is, you know, this is pretty lo-fi. I do have a nice mic, but it's, it's still lo-fi. Uh, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to just play it right now because it's such a fun horn. Yeah, we know it's not inexpensive. But when you're talking about a horn that's completely handmade, integrated mouthpiece receiver, three bells, one of which is, is pure silver, pure silver, folks, there you go. Uh, you're going to see that price. Um, and uh, it's just a just a world-class horn. Adams always makes world-class horns, but this horn in particular is just insane. So um, let's do um, I Hear a Rhapsody. It's funny, I was playing My Shining Hour a couple days ago. Maybe I'll play that. I'll, I'll do that. Tuning in, I, I've, I've sort of warned people, this is definitely not the mouthpiece I play, and it's also gold, so you can see that my lips get irritated because I play on uh, acrylic mouthpiece most of the time. But uh, there you go. That's a, it's a quick tour of this beautiful trumpet. Again, I'm going to show you a few pictures of this first. I mean, how stunning is that trumpet? Just absolutely stunning. It's so beautiful. Kudos to Adams for making such a great horn. Um, that's the, the business side of things with one of the three bells and this is the three bells um, as they are constituted. So I must get back to work. I'm sorry to say I had a blast hanging out with all of you. Uh, if you have any additional questions on this horn, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at info at austincustombrass.com or call 816-410-0826. Um, it, uh, there are no trades on it, and the price is absolutely firm. Um, this is a one-in-a-lifetime horn. We hope that we can find a home for it, uh, someone who will love it as much as the previous owner. So take care, everybody. Uh, looking forward to doing another one of these soon. Uh, until then, keep on keeping on, and stay warm. Ciao.